Hi everyone and welcome to Chef's Travels. Today we are going to be making a dried fruit using a dehydrator. So basically dehydrating um, fruit in a dehydrator. We're going to be using citrus fruit, oranges, um, lemons, limes, we've even got some blood grapefruit as well which I'm going to be using which is a fantastic colour. Um, why are we using a dehydrator? Could you use an oven? Yes you could use an oven but to be honest with you dehydrators are built for purpose, um, they're built for the job and putting an oven on for 10 hours to dehydrate fruit is not very cost effective and uh, won't do your electric bill any favours whatsoever. So yeah, dehydrating fruit in a food dehydrator is what we're going to be doing today. Um, there are links below if you want to purchase one of these dehydrators. I'm using an Electrio dehydrator which I recently purchased. Um, you can purchase them on, from the links below which is an affiliate link, uh, take you straight to Amazon. Um, I do get a little commission, it doesn't cost you any extra but I do get a little commission and it helps my channel and helps me make more videos, useful videos for you like this one and it really is appreciated so if you do use one of the links thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to like if you find this video useful um, and also subscribe would be very kind as well, it helps my channel again and um, at the end of this video I'm going to show you how you can store your dried dehydrated fruit and, um, and keep it going longer. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why we dehydrate fruit uh, but one of the most popular reasons at the moment is they use them in cocktail bars uh, for garnishing the cocktails and gins and I've also seen them used on Christmas trees as decoration for making mulled wine all kinds of uh, different uses for dehydrated fruit it is uh, a method of preserving the fruit and making it last longer so if you've you know, got an, uh, an orange tree or a lemon tree in your garden and you you know, want to preserve the fruit, it's a, it's a fantastic way of preserving fruit. And yeah, so basically, without any further ado, let's get in the kitchen and get this show started. So when it comes to dehydrating fruit, uh, basically there's like two categories. I like to call it the citrus fruit category and like the um, fleshy fruit category. When I say freshy, fl fleshy, what's my saying that, we've had a few drinks. <laughs> fleshy fruit, which is like your apples, uh, your pears, your peaches, uh, pineapples, bananas and the list goes on. These fruit are normally dehydrated and they can be used as snacks and uh, they're actually more edible and uh, you can also use them for garnishes on desserts and all kinds of things. I will be doing a video on those um, so if you click the bell next to the subscribe button you will automatically be notified when that video comes up and any future videos that uh, I bring out. Um, but today we are going to be doing uh, a video on citrus fruits, the likes of uh, uh, the blood grapefruit, oranges, and of course, lemons. And so to begin with, we're gonna start by slicing all the fruit. Next thing we're going to do is take your dehydrated trays and place your sliced oranges on like so. Keep them apart a little bit, don't have them bunched up too close together. Basically so you get an even airflow all around the fruit and this helps with the dehydrating process. So the next thing we're going to do is take our fruit. and put it in the dehydrator. Shelves slide in like that. Yeah, so once you've got all your fruit in the dehydrator, in its trays, next thing you want to do is put the lid on, 
close that down and put your settings on. Now I've automatically got this already set for 10 hours. Um, so the next thing I need is put the temperature on and that's going to go at 70 degrees centigrade. So that's basically going to be that for 10 hours, 70 degrees centigrade and press start and off she goes. And uh, yeah, we'll keep watching it as we go through. Uh, but basically it's going to be dehydrating for 10 hours um, and that should come out lovely. And so with the magic of technology, after 10 hours of dehydrating, my fruit is now ready. Open it up. And as you can see, look at that. Nice and dry and crispy. As I say, it depends how thin or thick you cut these it will depend on how well they dry out, dry out. If they're not quite dry enough then put them on for another few hours. Quite simple um, and let them dehydrate a little bit longer. So after 10 hours of um, dehydrating the fruit on 70 degrees, what I'm going to do now is take it out and what we do to store it is put it in these kilner jars. Um, they seal up and they basically airtight and keep them um, nice and dry. Uh, you can, there's a link below if you want to get some of these kilner jars from Amazon. It is an affiliate link, um, so yeah, if I do get a little commission on it, it doesn't cost you any extra, but it helps my channel, and thank you very much. So basically, yes, we're going to take the fruit and put it in the kilner jars and uh, seal it up, ready for use. Very simply, take your fruit off the trays, and in they go. Again, these have been drying for 10 hours, dehydrating for 10 hours. Um, you can use them for cocktails, for desserts, for your gins, all kinds of things. And they're very great, they're great for garnishes, um, decoration basically. I wouldn't recommend eating them because they don't taste too good. But as a garnish, Absolutely fantastic. Literally just stick them in the kilner jars, seal them up, and use them as and when you want. Don't make too many because where you keep opening the kilner jars up, they can rehydrate a little bit and you don't really want that um, so just make what you need although if you do keep them sealed up they will last a long time I don't exactly know how long but they will last a long time as long as the moisture doesn't get to them 
they're absolutely fine. And that's one of the beautiful things about dehydration. It is a preservative. If you're going traveling again, you know, they're light and easy to carry. And uh, yeah, basically, there you have it. So basically, just put the lids on, seal them up as best you can. And there you have it, dried fruit, dehydrated fruit, ready to use. These trays are dishwasher friendly, literally just stick them in the dishwasher and they come back up nice and clean and ready to use again. So basically, there you have it, dehydrated fruit, um, light, crispy and beautiful. You can use these, as I say, for cocktails, garnishes, gin, garnishes. You can actually use them on desserts as garnish as well. I don't recommend eating them because they don't actually taste that good. But um, yeah, a lot of uses for them. You can hang them on your Christmas tree if you want, which I have actually seen being done. Um, so basically, there you go, uh, dehydrated fruit using a dehydrator. Uh, this is Chef's Travels, thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next mission.